Awesome. I'm Gabby. And I'm Isabel. What well, we want to wish those that celebrate Hanukkah a happy one. Hanukkah began last evening. The holidays can be a very stressful time, especially during a pandemic. Coming up later in the show, Gabby and I will share the top Christmas gifts for 2020. Let's start things off with Joshua's um, news. Doug Waterbury, a landlord from Oswego and owner of the Sylvan Beach Amusement Park, sent his workshop in the North Pole. And Renaissance Festival in the Sterling was changed on Wednesday with public loudness and third patronizing and prostitutes. Earlier this week, Waterbury was also accused of violating two sexual harassment lawsuits and that has settled in 2019 over 50 tenants and over the victims of a 30 year time period, the coursing women had sex with him, threatening the eviction and homelessness. In Camillus, New York, a 20 year old man suffered serious injuries after being struck by a train on Wednesday night. He was found in Sherwood Avenue and was reported walking on the train tracks. He is currently being treated at Upstate University Hospital. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Senior quotes and senior college photos are overdue. Go to esnyearbook.org to submit your quote and for directions about getting into college. If we don't have your quote by today, we will not be able to include it. Don't miss out. Next week is Spirit Week. Monday and Thursday is holiday, winter hat day. Stay warm and cozy and show off your best hat. To Thursday and Friday, Ugly sweater day. Dress to impress or not. Have fun either way. This year, a majority of the Christmas shopping is expected to be online. This being said, many popular items are being sold out. These are a few of the items that are being sold out. We got the Star Wars Baby Yoda doll, remote control air hogs, Squeaky the Balloon doll. There's the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X, the Quest 2, Call of Duty Cold War, there's also shoes like Air Forces and Jordans, and new technology like AirPods or a new iPhone. I personally think the top sellers will be the PlayStation and the Xbox. What do you think? I also think those are pretty high right now, so yeah. Now on to weather. It is going to be busy with mixed sun and clouds with lights in the mid 40s to low 50s. It is going to be the warmest day of the week, and as for now, it doesn't look like there will be any precipitation today, so try to get outside. This weekend, we'll have some scattered rain showers with highs in the mid 40s to low 50s. Monday and Tuesday are going to be mainly cloudy and more seasonable, with a chance of a few snow showers with highs in the 30s. Wednesday will be breezy with mixed snow rain with highs in the mid to upper 30s, and Thursday is going to be chilly with some snow showers with a high around 30. I'm Darth Vader with your weather. Big news out of the weight room, junior athlete Ariana Finkelstein tied a seven-year-old record on Thursday. Ari lifted 125 pounds in the hang clean. She is a multi-sport athlete who plays basketball and throws a shot and discusses for the track team. Great job, Ari. The Syracuse women's basketball team beat Miami last night. The Orange are ranked 20th. And that's Tanner with your sports. That's all the time we have today. So from Gabby and me and everyone here at the morning show, have a great day. <laughs>